Live chat's one of those business names that leaves little to no ambiguity about what kind of service they provide. With one click, you can have food delivered that glows. Except not at all. It's actually better. Live chat is a phenomenal tool that serves as what they call a lead generation machine. And in this lesson, we're going to show you how to fully integrate live chat into your Webflow project. And we'll start by grabbing the tracking code from live chat and we'll end in two different ways. We'll show you how to embed it in a single page, then we'll show you how to do it on all pages in your project. Also, we're adding a number four to the screen because we wanna show you how to customize the live chat widget to match our project's branding. Okay, first part, live chat. When you're logged in, by the way, if you don't have an account yet, now would be the time to sign up. When you're logged in, you can get the code you need from your dashboard under settings. By default, you should see the tracking code to copy. We're in settings under the channels category and we're in website. Let's copy the code. And just like that, we can move from one to two, which is embedding this in a single page. So here's our design. We made it Webflow using CSS grid. Does that matter? No, but we really like using grid. Let's head over to pages. And in this example, you can see we have two pages in this project, product and about. And we want to pull up the page settings for whatever page we want to add live chat to, in this case, our product page. Let's scroll all the way down until we can see our before the end of the body element tag. What does that mean? That means this will be pasted. Let's paste, by the way. It'll be placed in the code all the way at the bottom of the page body. Do we have to worry about the code? No, let's just make sure it's there. Let's save our changes and publish our project. When we take a look at our published URL, we see the live chat widget show up perfectly on our page. That's adding it to a specific page. What about the whole project, every page? Let's go in and make sure to remove the code snippet from that first page, the product page we just demonstrated. We're just selecting everything and pressing delete. Let's save. And to add it to every page, let's head on over to project settings. And what we're looking for here is custom code. Just like before, let's scroll down and add the code before the end of the body element. We're just pasting the same thing we copied to our clipboard before because it's still there. Save changes, and of course, let's publish our project to see how different it is. When we look at the published URL, the live chat widget shows up perfectly. Now, you're probably wondering, did they just recycle the same shot they used for the first example? Yes, but the added benefit of doing it this way is that the widget appears on every page of your site. So. What's the right way to do this? Should we add it to specific pages one by one, or should we add it like we did a moment ago to our project settings? This way it appears on every page. There's no right or wrong answer. Maybe you don't want live chat showing up on an order confirmation page, or maybe on your terms of service or privacy policy. Maybe you do. It's entirely up to you. As for customizing, this is the last part, by the way, we can go back into our settings, but under chat widget, there's this great section called customization, and you can tweak the design as little or as much as you want. Let's try out bubble for the minimized window, and let's choose a different theme color, something to more closely match our branding for the project we've built out. And when we're done, we can save changes and then proceed back to step two, except not at all because Live Chat's widget automatically updates. Just go to the published site, refresh, and your changes should be live. So we've covered a lot here. We grabbed the tracking code from Live Chat. We pasted that at the end of the body element on one page. Then we did a version where we pasted it on all pages in the project settings. We customized the widgets look and feel, and we shared pizza leftovers with Dylan. <laughs>